as a robotics team, we don't really focus on winning at all costs. Um, and that's what I think is great about this team, is that we don't, we don't focus on, you know, the adults make the design and the kids just kind of follow along and try to hang on by the seat of their pants. As president of the Woodlands Homeschoolers Robotics team, my job is to make sure that the team has fun, that we're productive, and that there is conflict resolution. There are three big things. Number one, our people. We have incredible people. This year we've actually uh, tripled our number of people who are participating in our robotics team. I'm 17. I am 12 years old. I am 16 years old. I am 11. I am 15 years old. I am 17 years old. I'm 14 years old. I'm 17 years old. I'm 11 years old. I am a team member. Our team is also student-led. That means that everything besides logistics, safety, and food is up to the students. As the vice president of the technology side, my job is to making sure everyone is being safe as well as being on task with the robot and also having a good time and learning a lot of uh, leadership skills and teamwork. Well, we've divided the, the technology side into sub-teams and then we assign a sub-team leader and the sub-team has a particular task, such as a uh, cargo ball device, how to scale the pole, pulleys, wheels, arm, gripper, just about anything you can think of. Well, that's what we do. Well, as communications vice president, I'm in charge of overseeing things that we present to the judges. Now, the three main things I'm in charge of are the marketing presentation, the technical notebook, and the marketing display. Now, the marketing presentation is essentially a sales presentation that we give to the judges. We present ourselves as a company and sell them our product, the robot that we've developed. Now the students do this through uh, writing their own speeches and then dressing professionally and then they practice giving it to actual companies, actual engineers in the field. And this allows them to really practice their public speaking skills and learn how to give a sales presentation. Now the technical notebook is essentially an engineering log. It just lists out all the processes that we used and all the changes and revisions that we made to our designs. It's so that we can go back at the end of the year and see what worked and what didn't and use it again in future years. As marketing vice president, I coordinate and I lead all the meetings that we have, all the work that we get done. I am the head of everything that we do. We have given presentations to the community and we have worked a lot on our website this season, making it really good. And, you know, we basically just do all the outreach for the team and we show the world w who we are and what we do. We've been doing robotics for about 12 years now. Our team actually started back in 2001. And we had three families and four families and seven students. Uh, we did very well that year. And we didn't know what we were doing, but I had a great time and learned a lot. Yeah. I've learned a lot from the Woodlands Homeschooler team. Um, the, some stuff I've learned is how to cooperate uh, well with others and a lot of leadership skills that can transfer over to a working environment. I recommend that uh, students get involved with Best Robotics. It's been very uh, helpful. We've had a lot of students go on. Uh, that didn't realize they were interested in science and technology, they'd go on to uh, engineering curriculums in different colleges. They make you feel needed in the group. These are not just skills that I'm going to use throughout the season. I'm going to use these skills for the rest of my life.